Ready? Racing. Factor of one, nice ice and cute nose, cute with Navajo Dreamer and Ahimsa all come out well. Special purpose next to last, about four lengths off the early pace. And last is Sappho. It's Navajo Dreamer and Ahimsa, the two leaders from Nice Ice and Cute Nose Cute. Two and a half lengths to factor of one. A similar margin, special purpose, and again to Sappho. Navajo Dreamer leads the way by a neck Ahimsa. Two lengths to Cute Nose Cute together with Nice Ice. They're followed midfield by factor of one, clear of special purpose, and Sappho commencing a move. It's Navajo Dreamer on the inside, ahead from Ahimsa. Two lengths away comes Cute Nose, Cute. Nice Ice, her outside. Factor of one is the grey, perched fifth with five sixteens to go. One length to Special Purpose and Sappho moving up on the outside. Over the dirt crossing in the Black Pearl, Navajo Dreamer from Ahimsa. Two lengths to Cute Nose, Cute. Nice Ice, Factor of one, Special Purpose and Sappho as they fan. At the eighth pole, Navajo Dreamer gives a kick, has the big white baldy face and a one length lead from Factor of one, Ahimsa. Cute Nose, Cute, Special Purpose late on the scene. Factor of of one special purpose get to Navajo Dreamer factor of one a next special purpose Navajo Dreamer third Sappho fourth cute nose cute finished fifth The Black Pearl Stakes goes to factor of one. A grey filly by the factor from the pulpit mare, BR's Girl. Bred in Kentucky by Golden Goose Enterprises. Owned by Red Baron's Barn and Rancho Tamascal. Mark Glatt is the winning trainer. Gary Stevens the winning jockey. Red Baron's Barn had its in the post victorious in one of our feature races yesterday the Charles Whittingham Stakes. Big weekend for the Red Baron. Barn Factor of One takes the Black Pearl. Gary Stevens aboard. Gary, tremendous ride. Take us to the race. Uh, she broke really sharp. She was pretty straightforward, and Mark had told me they took her back her last two times. Blinkers was, were um, taken off, and um, she left her really good, but she was real cooperative with me. I rated her off the pace. I was full of run the whole way when I swung her out. She exploded like a quarter horse. It was a lot of fun. All right, Gary, thanks for the time. Thank you. All thanks, right. Mark. Let's talk to Mark. Mark, you and I were talking right after the race. You know, one-time winner coming into this. I know you said some, you were thinking about adjustments style-wise. It turns out it must have been the right decision. Yeah, when she broke her maiden, she was just much the best and, you know, went fast, went, you know, wire to wire. And uh, subsequently, a couple of starts later, she, you know, we didn't, mess with her style and and when things got a little tougher for her she was just burning up on the lead and falling apart so i told the owners uh, jed and tim cohen i said you know this is a nice filly but we're going to have to completely change her tactics if we're going to have anything that's going to amount to something and they said go for it so uh two starts ago we we got her dragged back and it was a little bit of a struggle she didn't want to relax but she finished well that day and then the second time she relaxed more after she got bumped pretty hard at the gate. And then she um, you know, had a little bit of trouble. It wasn't a smooth trip, but at the same time, I thought, well, maybe getting her back isn't going to work. So today, um, you know, I just said, hey, we started with this program with her. 
let's give it one more shot. And she settled back nicely, got a clean break today. And uh, like Gary said, she finished like a quarter horse. Yeah, and also considering the way that she did finish and the way she looked doing it, would you think she's been sprinting? Do you think she could stretch it out? You know, uh, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we have to. I think uh, she probably doesn't want to run too terribly far. But when they learn to drop the bit like she has now, maybe going a flat mile, you know, she, she'd be willing to do so. Right, not bad, man. You and the Red Baron Barn taking the stakes. I'm sure you'll take that every day, twice on Sunday. Yeah, absolutely. All stakes right. are stakes are a lot of fun. All right. Thanks, Mark, for the time. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. That is a big win for Factor of One taking this edition of the Black Pearl.